Hello Aries, it's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess, here to do your weekly read from the 18th to the 25th of November. Firstly, let me say a big thank you for you coming on board. I'm so grateful to have you in my life. Um, I'm really grateful to be able to bring you the readings. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Um, if my readings don't resonate, you know, check out other aspects of your natal chart. Um, I notice my intros are getting shorter, so I'm having a bit more time to fill in the reading, which is really, really good. Um, your readings are actually very early this week because I've got fairs this weekend and I won't be back until Sunday night, which means it's a bit later. However, next weekend your readings will be a little late because I have to do them on the Monday. So, Aries, what's going on for you guys? One more shuffle and we'll be there. Aries week of 18th to the 25th of November. Oh, somebody's coming in with the truth, Aries. Somebody's coming in to tell you something that may be quite harsh and may be quite cutting, um, or the intention is to cut someone out of your life. This can be you. This can be you too. Definitely thinking of doing something. You're definitely getting rid of something that no longer serves you here and moving towards something new and different. This can be the card of Aquarius, Libra or Gemini. Strongly, strongly feeling this is an energy here. Very fast moving energy. Something is, something is being told to you, spoken to you, or you're ready to tell someone else. Okay, and it could be something that you haven't known or something you're gonna tell someone else that they don't know. Something lurking below the water here. Something deep feelings, deep feelings here. This is about maybe expressing yourself, maybe taking a chance to say sorry. It could be the other person doing that as well because we know these energies go backwards and forwards with the general reads. But this is definitely a feeling that someone is exposing some sort of truth to someone. Okay, and we have a brand new start. So, not sure which way this is gonna go yet, but you're definitely telling some somebody something that's gonna put you on a new path, or you're cutting someone out of your life, which is gonna put you on a new path. But this is a very fiery, passionate new start. You're feeling very strong and determined here and ready to move forward. And I could feel that with that Knight of Swords energy. Yep, you wanna move forward to work on something with somebody. So definitely a feeling here of wanting to work on something. So maybe you're being honest with someone about what direction you want to go in. Maybe you haven't told them how you're feeling, um, but definitely looking for a brand new start here. Could be that you're going in to tell someone you're not happy with how you're running the business. You want to change something about your business, but definitely moving forward to work with somebody on something because it's not stable and you're looking for stability here. So we've had this card come up a lot. In fact, we've had a couple of these cards come up a few times despite shuffling the pack like crazy. So what we've got here is you wanting stability. And I feel like in your current situation, you don't have this. Maybe you don't have stability with the person you're with. Maybe you don't have stability in your work or in your business and you're looking at changing something. You're changing something up because you want to work on something to make to, to build a strong foundation here. Okay, so you could be working with the Taurus or dealing with the Taurus. Um, this could also be a Virgo or Capricorn, but strong feeling of Taurus here. Wanting to build something with a Taurus person. So maybe you're in business with them. There's not a lot of cups here that tells me it's relationship. I'm not feeling relationship at this point. It may be that this Ace of Wands is the beginning though. This may not be love in here yet, but definitely wanting to move forward with someone who's very earthy, very down to earth, very practical. So maybe, you know, if they're not this earth sign or this Taurian, maybe they are a person who's just very, very grounded, very practical. Maybe you want to take more risks, Aries. You're a bit more of a risk taker. Maybe this is why you want to put your passion into this because this person's too practical for you. They're too practical, too safe, not the risk taker. You wanna take risks here. Okay, so this is about being trapped in your head, about being trapped in your thoughts and feelings. 
Sometimes it's about having sort of more of a victim mentality. I think this is how you've been in the past here. This is your energy of how you, what you're coming out of. And I feel like with this moon card, that's telling me that you're now revealing things that you were scared to reveal before. Well, perhaps not scared, but much more limited. Yep, because here you are in your element. Beautiful. Let me just do a quick recap. Okay, so what we have here, we have you rushing forward to tell someone you want to do things differently. Obviously, you have been in a position where you're not getting in what you want from a job, a relationship, something. You're ready to come forward and expose your truth here. You want to tell someone how you're feeling. There's someone you could want to tell, maybe an earth sign. Now, it could be that the King of Wands, although this feels like your energy here, it could be that you're dealing with another Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. But what I get here is that you've been bound up and sort of like not able to express yourself or worried about talking up because you're coming forward here to now to express what you want to express. And I feel like you want this stability. With this Three of Pentacles and this Four of Wands here, there's this strong feeling that you want to have stability here and there's a brand new start here. So it's almost like you're rushing in and saying, let's take a chance, let's do things differently, let's work together and let's build a greater, stronger foundation for the both of us. I'm sick of living in this energy of, you know, what if? Let's take a chance with this and move forward. Okay, because look, victory card. So you're definitely moving in the right direction here. So the Six of Wands talks about, you know, recognition, being able to be recognized for something wonderful that you've done. So you definitely want recognition here. Okay, and then we have the Six of Cups right next to it. So it's possible that you could be going back to someone in your past or from your past to try and rebuild something that didn't work the first time around. That's possible. I don't have a revisit card here. I don't have a rebirth card, but there's a strong feeling that you are wanting to go to someone and build a foundation because you haven't had this foundation previously. That's the first thing. And you're definitely ready to move forward here. I feel like you've had some sort of, something's happened to you because we've got this Ace of Wands here, which tells me you're on a brand new path here. So you want to leave something behind from the past. However, if this is something to do with a business or a work situation, um, I feel like you're sick and tired of doing what was done in the past. You want to try something new here with this Ace of Wands. And I think you're having trouble getting people on side with you here. So you're disclosing now how you feel rather than keeping it tra like trapped inside you. You want to move forward with this sense of purpose, this clarity, this desire to build. Oops, I forgot the front card. Ah, oh, and here you are. See, you've gone from the Knight to the King of Swords here. You definitely mean business here. You're going forward with your truth. You're going to say to someone, yep, didn't work before. Didn't work the first time round. Don't like how we did it. Sick and tired of like worrying about what happened in the past. Now I'm ready to move forward. This is the way I want to go. This is what truly I'm feeling about this. This is how passionate I am. And I want to build a future. I want to build something strong, sturdy. Something that will bring me this recognition that I want up here and I want to build it with you. So whether this is a business partner, soulmate, um, person from your past, you want to build a future. So we have the card of birth and it says universal energy brings you opportunity and possibility. Very, very nice Aries. Good luck. Thank you, I'll see you next week.